How do I feel about getting pregnant again? How do I feel about my pregnancy? Am I super excited? Am I not? Let's get into it. This is for you, big goat. What are you doing? You're supposed to give me a gift. I know. Yes, I See, this wants to be so sweet. Surprise! <laughs> you know what this it is? is. Uh, candy coat. You want to tell? This is gracious. <laughs> 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 ah. I don't like high fives. Everybody likes Mommy. high fives. According to my app, I'm four weeks. I know. How do you know? Because I'm big goat. Man, hush up. There's no way you know. I didn't even know. I knew. I said that before I left. You didn't know. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. What you said? I said you. You said, oh, no, it's just a good I was like, no, I don't think so. Okay, but it, the same thing I happened. I already knew. The same thing happened last month. I already knew. Oh. The same thing happened last month. No, it didn't. I yes, already know it no, Jasmine's face. How was it fake? Nine days is not fake. It was really. It was really. Oh. Wait, what's your sleep. Sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you love it? <laughs> Are you transferring from another practice? Only one, right? Yes. Yeah, is it? <laughs> I knew it. His mom really wanted twins for some reason. <gasps> There's the bee. Do you want to take a picture? Yes, please. So was this baby planned? I'm just adding a tiny bit of oil while I take these out. So yes, this baby was planned. I definitely have been wanting another child. I always wanted a big family. I always wanted four kids, five if I was 100% financially good i am a twin with a boy so it's me and him and then i have an older brother who's three years older than me and so i was the only girl growing up i didn't hang out with my girl cousins like that they were all older than me it was you know a few occasions where we hung out but pretty much i knew i wanted a big family i knew that if me and my family would move away somewhere i wanted my initial family to be big enough to just you know have fun together be enough for each other i just wanted to be officially done being pregnant can be a whole journey you know and that first year after you have the baby it's a whole journey you get no sleep it can be a lot especially if you have toddlers it's just like i have a whole seven year old kalia just turned five Baby Ghoster will be two on July 4th. And so, you know, the kids are growing up and stuff like that. But I definitely wanted the baby to have a little partner in crime. Oh, hey, so I'm officially 15 weeks today and I am here for my monthly checkup. We're going to hear the heartbeat and I'm just super excited. My blood pressure was perfect. I weigh 152.4. Yeah. I barely have anything. <laughs> But I'm happy and I'm feeling great and I'm just excited to hear the heartbeat because honestly, I don't have any symptoms. Thank God, cross my fingers. And you some gel on your belly. There we go. Yeah. Heartbeat. There's your little baby, look. Look at your little baby. Where? It's a, it's a spine right there, your arm and the leg right there. Yeah. You see, baby's head. That's a little, the little back, the uh, the spine right there. There is a baby in my yeah, belly. Yeah, there he is. And then that's the heartbeat right there. You see it flickering? Yeah. Right there. Yeah. Baby standing straight up. You see? That's the little butt wow. right there standing straight up. Yeah. I see the legs. Uh-huh. Ain't that cool? 
Very. That's 153. It's perfect, okay? It sounds great. How do I feel about having another baby? I'm super excited. Like, the more my family grows, the happier I am. And just to be able to give birth really just makes everything complete. The fact that I am able to get pregnant is a miracle. It's a blessing. Not everyone has that. And so... I just feel so grateful to be able to get pregnant. I feel grateful for having three children with no complications and being able to just give birth the natural way. I am just over the moon. So here we are for another visit. These visits are really short. You know, they get my blood pressure. I get my weight. I hear the heartbeat and just talk to the doc on any issues I have. But literally everything is good and I have no issues. Let me see your belly, okay? Okay, yeah. And it's measuring. Is that right? I mean, this is uterus. All of this. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And so you're going to feel a little bit over here, a little over there, a little at the top, the bottom. Like, what the heck is going on in there? <laughs> Gymnastics? <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to get away from me. So how has this pregnancy been different from all the rest? I have not thrown up not one time thank god god is so good um i actually just finished you know jumping out the shower so i already added toner to my face i'm going to be adding the anti-aging regenerative night cream vitamin a and antioxidant blend if you haven't tried this i definitely recommend it i will be doing a review very soon i have been using it and you only need a little bit Put it on those areas. A little bit goes a long way. But as I was saying, I only have experienced the sleepiness. That's it. And it's been completely different. Now that's something I didn't experience at all with the girls and my son. With Callie, my first pregnancy, I was bedridden. I couldn't keep anything down. I needed pills to keep the nausea down so that I can eat and keep the food down. I worked up until I gave birth to her, like literally the day. But in the beginning, like the first trimester, I had to really leave work early, literally in bed, literally running to, my, to the bathroom all day long. So I was very, very sick with Callie. Now with Kalia, I was sick a little bit. I would say in the first trimester, but as soon as the second trimester came, I never got sick at all. And so I thought I was having a boy because even with Callie in my second trimester, I was still sick. And so I was so excited. I was like, oh, I'm going to have a boy. This pregnancy is completely different than, you know, my previous pregnancy. And with Callie, I found out what it was. With Kalia, I waited until literally she came out. And I found that it was a girl. And then with baby goat, sir, real name Kevin, what happened was I maybe got nauseous once or twice the most. And I threw up, I think, like once, literally like one time, maybe just a tiny bit of throw up. And I ended up wanting a gender reveal, but then the pandemic hit. And so I had to cancel a party. And we found out when I had my sonogram that it was a boy. Now, with this pregnancy, I'm claiming it's a boy. However, I really have no idea. The fact that I've only experienced sleepiness, the fact that I've only experienced bloating, and I haven't gotten sick. I haven't gotten sick. That's a miracle. A big miracle. <laughs> That's better. When did we find out? We found out on Christmas Eve. How cute is that, right? But I'm going to give you a little bit of the backstory. So I ended up taking the vaccine, which I really didn't want to. Um, I'm not going to get into that, but I took the first shot back in October and 
we had decided by then officially on October 31st Halloween that we were going to have another baby or try for another baby and so I ended up taking the shot and I took the shots a couple days before we officially decided so in November I thought I may have been pregnant because I was seven days late never in my life have I ever been seven days late so I was late seven days and I said oh my god I could be pregnant you know I was feeling a little bit of the symptoms I was sleepy um I was getting cramps a little bit um I wasn't spotting but I was like oh my god I'm possibly pregnant I'm so excited and then on day nine I got my period and I was so sad and so disappointed and I was literally blue and that's one of the reasons why I officially knew that I really wanted to have another baby. And so I didn't know that one of the effects of having the vaccine was, you know, that you can be delayed on your period. And so I was scared because I thought, you know, it might mess up my, you know, baby making system. And I just, I didn't want that, especially because we were officially trying. And so I got the second shot you know when it was time and so we tried again in november to conceive so fast forward my period is supposed to arrive it didn't come i was five days late six days late and i said oh my god this time around i may not be pregnant and on day six i said i'm not thinking twice about it i was late nine days the previous month so i'm just assuming my period cycle has changed i'm going to the doctor on day seven, that morning, I brushed my teeth and I'm never, ever, ever nauseous. But nausea is the key reason why I know I'm pregnant. And so with this pregnancy, I was brushing my teeth and I had that hit of nausea. And I said, ooh, that's different. And it's like it was an automatic light bulb. It's time to go find out. And so I was so anxious. I waited till my husband went to work because I didn't want him to know. And I thought if I am pregnant, I want to find out, make sure that I'm pregnant. I bought two pregnancy tests and I took them and it came out positive. And so I was just super excited. I was so happy. I got on my knees and I thanked the Lord because honestly, you know, I wasn't sure if I was going to get pregnant because I was late the first time. So so yeah, so fast forward, I am officially five months. I am 19 weeks this week. And the fact that I'm going to be 20 weeks next week is definitely a surprise, you know? I'm halfway through, I feel great. There are some days where I am sleepy and the sleepiness still kicks in, but I have started to feel kicks. You know, it's just so exciting. I, I am just so happy. This pregnancy is also different because when I had my son, I felt the flutters and kicks and stuff when he was seven weeks, seven to eight weeks. That's when I started feeling it. And I thought, why am I feeling it so early? But it was just a different pregnancy with this baby. I haven't felt the kicks until I was maybe um, 17 weeks. So at 17 weeks, I felt like. A little something and then it's now that i officially know you know those little somethings were kicks so um every pregnancy is different what i would say is don't just say you're gonna have a boy because of symptoms because the symptom changes this is baby number four for me i haven't gotten sick and the fact that i haven't gotten sick this whole time i would say it's just a miracle and a blessing because i had such a hard pregnancy my first time around so this time around, it's like, I really hope that this is, you know, this baby's you know, just a calm little soul. <laughs> just a calm little soul because, you know, my son, he's just very wild. He's all over the place. My, my husband wants a girl. That's how wild he is. But I can't complain at all. So far, I'm healthy. I don't have, um, I don't have anything wrong with me. Uh, I've been tested for everything. Of course, the usual perks, but... I, you know, everything's came out negative. So I'm just, I'm feeling very grateful, very blessed. 
and I'm just excited to see what we're going to have. So in a couple months, we are going to have a gender reveal party. And I'm excited because this will be our last, you know, if, if God approves, this will be our last child. And I want to be able to do everything I haven't done. So I definitely want a maternity shoot. I never done an official maternity shoot. The last shoot I did, it was a DIY home maternity shoot. And I lost a lot of the pictures because my hard drive got messed up. But this time around, I definitely want a maternity shoot. I'm going to film it for you guys so you can see. And I'm definitely going to have a gender reveal slash baby shower. And I'm super duper excited about that because since I no longer live in New York, you know, a lot of my family still live out there. My friends are still out there. So I get to, you know, have them over and just have a great time and spend time together. So ultimately, I'm just super duper excited. Let me know if you're excited to see that. Let me know your predictions. What do you think I'm having? A girl, a boy? I am going to be showing you guys, you know, my belly from the side, from the front. And you just lay that down and we'll find out together. So if you have any questions, just let me know. I definitely want to give you guys periodic updates or monthly updates, especially after crossing into the second trimester and giving you tips on what I've learned, tips about delivery that I didn't know that I wish someone told me. You know, stuff like what to pack. I think it's just super cute because everyone packs differently. Everybody thinks differently. Everybody's experience is different. So with that said, um, I have a lot to share with you guys. I hope that you guys come along with me on this last journey of pregnancy. I'm going to take you into my world. So I hope that you guys really appreciate that. So one of the reasons why I create is to make sure that I'm not only sharing my experiences to inspire and help others, but also to just get feedback from you guys as well. It's not always about me. There's always a bigger picture at hand. There's always something bigger at work. So with that being said, all my mamas out there, let's just get into a conversation. How did you feel when you were having your first pregnancy, second, third, fourth, fifth? How did you handle it? How do you wish you handled it? Um, any advice for a mom? of for to be just dish out all of the details dish out all of the um experiences it's a welcoming and positive space so with that being said make sure that you share your experiences i'm definitely going to share mine i hope that you guys have an amazing day peace of positive vibes and i just can't wait to continue to just show you and share with you how this pregnancy is going